Mao, uh, Assistant Professor in the Department of Geological Mining and Engineering Sciences here at Michigan Tech, and uh, also affiliated with the Great Lakes Research Center. So I was going to tell you a little bit about the research that we did on the uh, RV storm, the NOAA ship that was here recently, um, but we also made some of these observations throughout the summer on the uh, Michigan Tech ship, the Agassiz. So what I have here uh, today is the optical instrumentation that we deployed when we had the opportunity to be out on Lake Superior. And so what I'm doing is characterizing the light environment, both the absorption and the scattering, uh, that we need those components to really understand what a satellite is seeing of the lake. So we can build the algorithms, um, understand what's working, what's not, and we've got to tweak those and then also start to build a set for validation and verification of those products. The other instrument that we deploy at the same time is um, it's called a HyperPro for hyperspectral um, profiling. So what you see here are two separate radiometers. One is looking in the upward direction. The other one, the sensor is down here looking in the downward direction. And so as we cross this overboard, the rest of the um, platform that you see here helps keep the sensors right in at the, the right angle so things are tilting and then um, allows for the proper descent rate. So we use this to one, look at how light is uh, changing, the attenuation to the water column, and then two, this information is used to, to calculate remotely sensed reflectance, which is essentially what the satellite is seeing. So we know from this instrumentation, are we treating our atmospheric correction properly uh, to, to work with all the different optical pieces for the algorithm development and verification. While we were out on the, the RV storm, we were looking to capture uh, the amount of dynamic range and the variability of optical properties that we might see in this region of Lake Superior. So we captured uh, the Antonagon River outflow, uh, what we see in Keweenaw Bay, and then also supported a glider transect that was going on coincidentally that was going from the, the north entry of uh, the canal out to Isle Royal. So this will um, provide a lot more uh, spectral information beyond what those sensors on the, the glider um, are capable of. So while we're also out on the ship, we're collecting water that we bring back to the laboratory and do uh, filtration. And the water's collected in what's called a Niskin bottle. These things open on both ends, and when we're at the right depth that we want, we send a messenger down and they snap closed and capture the water from that depth. Uh, we then bring the water back in the laboratory and uh, filter through uh, rigs like you see here. Um, we capture what we're interested on, um, either the filter or the water that goes through the filter, um, the filtrate. And we're looking for, th for the um, absorption of, of phytoplankton, those non alpha particles, chlorophyll, dissolved organic matter, and uh, colleagues of mine also look at nutrient distributions um, and other parameters that help us put together the full picture of what's going on with the biology and the biogeochemistry in the context of what we're able to discern from um, satellite imagery. 